Hey guys, so in today's video we'll be revealing the truth of the Easter Bunny and basically what I'm going to do is tell you a little bit of history and then get into like the juicy dark stuff because we just love, love to take joyful happy stuff and turn it into dark stuff. Am I right? Yeah, no need to answer that. And I know my setup kind of sucks right now. I don't have my Easter decorations actually out. I know I'm crazy, but um, I just couldn't wait to film this video. So please ignore this. Thank you. So basically who or what is the Easter Bunny? The Easter Bunny is a symbol or figure to give the good kids presents. Kind of like Santa, you know, if you're good for that time period or basically for the whole year, you'll get rewarded. When did he arrive? Like, when did, like, Easter or the Easter Bunny become a real thing? The Easter Bunny actually ar arrived in America in the 700s with German folks who settled in Pennsylvania. They called him a weird, odd name. Like, I don't know. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. Osterhaze. I know I pronounced that wrong, so I'm sorry. I'm not good with grammar. And then, like, after it became a known thing in the 1800s, they started making chocolate bunnies. Now for the good stuff. The first one we will be talking about is called the Paranormal Game. This game is supposed to be played on March 31st to prepare you for the Easter Bunny himself. But this Easter Bunny is actually quite different from the joyful, happy Easter Bunny we know. This one is kind of like evil Easter Bunny, if that makes any sense. You know how Santa is like, has Krampus as like evil Santa? This is basically the evil, creepy Easter Bunny. What he does is he lures kids and in this game you want to put chocolates or any type of candy but mostly recommended is chocolates and put a trail in front of your front door to your bedroom count exactly how many candies there are or this probably won't work after you place the candies you want to hide in your room and he comes out between 12 a.m. to 12.01 a.m. for exactly one minute and he's supposed to come and eat some candies. After that minute is over, you want to come outside and count the candies. If some are missing, that means he was there. If some are not missing, I guess he wasn't there. So the next one is called the Bunny Man, which is the scariest one of all three of the ones I'm talking about today. And basically, it's a legend that there's a guy dressed up as in a bunny suit near a bridge. This bridge is called bunny man bridge the story was in 1904 there was a scion i can't pronounce it right a, sl a slime basically where like un mental state people are you know what i'm talking about hopefully basically there was one of those places close to a town and the people in that town didn't like how close where that mental place was and they were scared of the people in it so they had it shut down and they you know had to move somewhere so as all the people got on the bus and the bus was driving to the new location it swerved and crashed all the patients um escaped but the police found them all except for one that one patient was named Douglas Griffin. They searched every, everywhere for him but could not find him, but then something odd started happening and they started finding not him, but miss like dead bodies of bunnies or rabbits. What The only thing that could make all this come together was that Douglas Griffin was eating them to survive. And then later we found out on Halloween night, there was a group of kids going close to where the bridge was hanging around doing the, like normal kid things, you know, probably like teenagers, I'm guessing. The legend has it that Douglas saw them and attacked them, and then the next morning, police showed and found the bodies of the dead kids. Rumor has it, if you go on Halloween night around midnight to that bridge, you will end up like those bunnies and kids. They never did find Douglas or like this bunny man costume guy. If they are the same guy, you never know. But they did get reports of like seeing a bunny man in like the woods. And they also get reports of like being chased by him. So like if you connect the dots, it probably is Douglas because of his mental state. The next one is called the Ghost Easter Bunny. And basically the story is that this little girl was telling her parents that she saw the Ghost Easter Bunny. And of course, as parents do, they didn't believe her. And they were like, oh, it's just like on your imagination, you're seeing things, it might have been a dream. They just didn't believe her. And 
it was odd because this happened every year to her about a week before Easter was there. From what she said, she said that her door would creak open and she would see a ghost figure shadow-like of an Easter bunny or just a bunny rabbit hopping, like circling her bed. The rabbit or bunny never like bothered her. It just like circled around her bed, bed kind of like, and then like left. And that happened for seven days straight every year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope no like little kid like clicked on this video thinking like, oh, the Easter Bunny, and I just crushed all their dreams, and now they are terrified. I hope that's not the case, but of course I want your Easter to be like happy and joyful and just have a blast. Of course, I know mine will be, and I can just like predict the future. But always don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like all my social medias are down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one.